Hello and welcome to MFCP Woodworking. Welcome to a, another edition of my uh, 2x4 turning series. And this is going to be a series within a series because we're going to make a chess set. One piece at a time or two pieces at a time depending on how I fit it into the videos. I don't want the video to be too long as either. Um, this came as an inspiration a long time ago. I glued some 2x4s face to face and turned some really nice big fat pawns for just dummy it out. I made the bishop as well. Interest I made a bishop. And I thought I could shrink those down and make a regular chest set out of that. Out of 2x4s. I come up with a wee little one like that. It's about normal size. A little squat, fat little guy. My own design. Um, but it didn't work. Not with 2x4s. The one I just showed you is not made with two SPF 2x4 material. It's made with alder. Um, the problem I had was the little collar and the uh, beads on the bottom kept chipping out. Uh, no matter how careful I was, no matter how much I made sure the tools were sharp, I mean, I still had too many chips coming out of them. You know, a chip here and there on some of these make it look kind of rustic, and you can live with that if you're if you just want to make a two by four set. But if it tears out bad, it looks like it's a mistake. So I decided I'm going to have to do something else. I'm going to have to make a simpler set because I really want to make a two by four set. Show you how to do it. So I think, well, artistically, what can I come up with? I'm thinking for the ponds, I'm thinking of a water drop falling into a pond and splashing up and making kind of a pattern. And I came up with this little guy. And I liked it. I'm going to use the other hand here. I really liked it a lot. I, I liked the style. In fact, I, I'm more than willing to make a whole set of those. And I showed it to my wife. I like to get compliments. <laughs> and she looks at it. That is so nice. It looks like a baby bottle nipple. <laughs> uh, no. I can't make a baby bottle nipple set of chests. So I thought something else. I thought, you know, those... Uh, they're, they're representative of foot soldiers or... Uh, Low-level soldiers. Infantry. Whatever you want to call them. But back in the day they wore this helmet. Sometimes there'd be a pointed little helmet coming down. I thought, man, that, that would look kind of cool. Maybe it'd make kind of a, 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 an impression of a helmet. And I came up with this little guy. And I looked at it close. And I looked and I said, no. And I'm not going to explain why. <laughs> so finally, third try... And I wasn't, I wasn't going to just make third try. I was going to make a third try and a fourth try at the same time and see which one I like better. I came up with this. It's kind of a more of a, more, a little more stylized. But I also came up with this little guy. And they both look at it pretty good. But the uh, this is the one I decided to go ahead and make. So with that, let's go over and start working on this thing. As you can see, I have a blank already mounted in the machine here and I've started working on it. Uh, I make my blanks out of a uh, split 2x4. I split it down the middle, cut the corners off, mount it between centers, turn it round. In this case, I've already got it mounted in the chuck and I'm cutting it in half because I find the longer piece that I use here, <clears throat> I try to go about the same length as my uh, tool rest, just because I can turn that round all at once without moving anything around. The uh, the uh, piece is turned round and then cut down because otherwise it wobbles too much when I'm doing the ends of my pieces. What you may have noticed just now was that I used a little cardboard template with a picture on it. Uh, that was just for size. The piece that I'm making here is actually the very first one. So I'm actually composing at the lathe. I don't know exactly what I want it to look like. I'm finalizing that with the chisels. I'm figuring it out as I work. Uh, the template's important. 
because chess pawns each set has 16 of them and you need to make them all reasonably the same so uh, when I'm done making this prototype here I will take another piece of cardboard you won't see that on the video itself but I'll take another piece of cardboard and I will make a new template showing all the measurements of this new pawn so that I can make more just like it I will also compare it to the existing original first one the set that I'm making here is going to be natural wood color uh, that is a little more forgiving than painting them solid colors believe it or not the wood grain actually will conceal a little bit of the variate variation to your own eye. You, it won't be as noticeable if it's a little bit off, but if you paint them all exactly the same color, even slight differences are going to be noticeable. And since I'm not using a repeating lathe and these are all being made by hand, there is going to be a little bit of variation in them. What I'm doing here is the flat surfaces I'm cutting with a skew chisel, my small one, and I'm kind of, especially in the neck of this, I'm kind of trying to decide where I'm going to angle everything up, trying to get a nice straight transition up to that, uh, that ridge around the head of the uh, pond. You can see I'll grab a little uh, gouge here and I'll start working in a little bit more and rounding that out. And once I've made all eight pawns, I can move on to another piece. Uh, design considerations here, of course, this is all being done with simple uh, shapes, things that are unlikely to chip out. I still have to be careful on the corners. Uh, the transitions between pieces. I'm going to angle that base. That's a theme I'm going to carry through the entire set. The base will be the same on all the pieces, the very bottom part of it. The uh, They need to match so that they look like they belong together. And that's what I'm working on there. I'll refine it a little bit more. In this case I'm refining it until I'm satisfied with it. Now you don't have to do exactly the same thing I'm doing. Uh, your chess set is going to be your design. Your own. You can copy my designs if you want, even the ones that I rejected. Uh, I'm putting, I will eventually put them all up on my website as available full plans. Um, you could do half plans. Um, I do full plans as they're made out of small pieces of cardboard, especially with these uh, these chess pieces, the little plans are the the little uh, cardboard uh, templates are so small they're easy to lose, and if you make a full plan, they're harder to lose than if they're a half plan. I make them out of regular serial board car cardboard because I can get it for nothing, and I can just cut them to size with the scissors, and then I mark everything with a pencil originally but when I've really decided exactly what I want I will use ink and try to make it last and I put them all in a file box together so this uh, this chess set will have a full set of templates for every single piece in the set when I'm done most of the pieces for this set are already designed or I have a concept in mind for what's left the pawn is one of the most difficult ones to decide on uh, most of the other ones I pretty much got figured out. Now I'm parting it off here. Now you see I didn't use the entire block. Okay, when I'm done this, I'm going to move it a little bit further out of the uh, the chuck. And I'm going to cut another one just like it from the piece underneath. And I'll just make them like that one after another. Now here you can see we've we've gotten the four pieces are being displayed here. If you like this video, if you like this uh this chess set make sure you like and subscribe and hit your notifications bell that way you will see the future installments of this video of this chess set uh, series 
and by the time we're done we'll have them all I won't promise that they come very quickly I'm working on a uh, wood review series as well and other ones in between I'm only able to produce about a uh, video per week and that's pushing it for me if I can keep up a video a week I'll be quite happy anyway thanks for watching and I hope you decide to make one of these sets for yourself